Here's your late afternoon update on Hurricane Irma, still a Category 5 storm that has moved across the extreme northern islands of the Caribbean, now about to pass north of Puerto Rico. Still, it is a powerful system. That red circle closest to the middle, that's the eye wall. That's where you find the winds of 185 miles an hour. But notice it has a second eye wall where you still will find intense winds, likely over 100 miles an hour. In between, not quite as windy, but there are other bands that are not as strong, but still it's those bands of a hurricane where you find the most intense winds. Earlier today, the National Hurricane Center reported some of the strongest winds recorded near 90 miles an hour, gusting to over 110. But keep in mind, we don't know exactly what's going on on the ground in those islands, but we do know that system is extremely dangerous. It's moving west northwestward at 16 miles an hour, still a category five. And on that track, computer models take it due west northwestward for several days before turning over the weekend. Now the models don't control the weather. It's the attempt to keep up with what's going on, calculate it and regenerate another projection. So all of these may change bit by bit, but the majority of them take a turn once it gets close to South Florida, moving it either across Florida or across the Bahamas. Now that is just for the center of the storm. And again, it is a projection. Add in the wind speed and wind speed is harder to predict than, and than the actual storm direction but still a likely category five for several days, slowing down as it approaches Florida, making that turn simply because the steering winds over the weekend will be shifting. There'll be a drier northwest wind picking up across most of the southeast, and that's why you see all of this turning toward the right. Now, the, the storm itself has not really changed what it's doing. What has changed is our day-to-day -day assessment and projection. So whatever this says doesn't control the storm. But note the winds as it approaches South Florida still could be 150 miles an hour. If it takes a track right along the Florida Peninsula, it would weaken somewhat, but it wouldn't totally go away simply because it's a very powerful storm. And then beyond the weekend, Georgia, South Carolina in that forecast cone for the center. For those of us in the central Gulf Coast, it is possible it could take more of a westerly track at the rate that this is projected. We would still have a dry north wind, at least in the Mobile WKRG area. But just keep in mind, this can change. It will change a bit wherever you are. If you're in that cone, you've got to have a plan right now. If you're outside the cone, have your usual hurricane season plan. Hurricane Jose, well, that's another one. That was the fifth hurricane of the season. And I say was because there's now a number six. But look at the winds on this system projected to go to over 100 miles an hour as it brushes the Caribbean, perhaps the same islands that were hit by Irma last night and this morning, and then moving to the central Atlantic where it may meander for several days. Now there's the sixth hurricane of the season. It's Katia. It's in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. It's been drifting a little bit toward the east and southeast. It's not moving very much, but the forecast track for Katia will take it back to the south and then southwest as a hurricane moving into Mexico rain could be the biggest issue for that part of the world. So we've got three named storms in the Atlantic at one time, three hurricanes, a category one in the southwestern Gulf, a category one in the east central Atlantic, and a category five right there in the middle of the picture. We're in the peak of hurricane season. The Gulf, the Caribbean, the Atlantic, the waters are as warm as they're going to be. There's not a lot of wind shear, which is why we have these three. And if you're wondering how unusual is it, Go back to 2009 on September 19th, there were three hurricanes lined up generally close to the same areas they are right now. Now that's a coincidence, but if you go back to 1998, there were three hurricanes and a tropical storm at the same time. So this is a very active season, no matter where you are, stay safe, have a plan. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals.